Hi, this is David Jem coming to you live from beautiful Lake Tahoe. Today we have such a special treat. We are gonna to tour the west shore of Lake Tahoe and we're gonna talk about our history, our favorite spots. To start, this area began in 1844 with a guy named John C. Fremont. In 1848, the gold rush hit California and Lake Tahoe was basically put on the map. As we tour this area, you're gonna find that this history of all these different like marinas and locations are so special and unique that it really works well to kind of talk about the luxury real estate in this part of the lake too, and why the luxury real estate in this part of the lake is actually some of the most expensive around Lake Tahoe. Stay tuned. This area would be nothing without talking about, number one, the displacement of the indigenous people who used to live here. They used to come up here for their summer vacations and they would live on Lake Tahoe all summer long to escape the heat down in the Washoe Valley. In 1848, with the gold rush coming in, and from 1860 to basically about 1900, they logged this area. What we see today is actually wonderful, and many, many families have built memories on the West Shore in this area. It's next to Tahoe Park, which is an 800-foot long beach and an HOA beach, and Sunnyside itself is part of a restaurant chain that goes all the way to Hawaii and down to Southern California. Along with being a fantastic lodge to eat lunch, this marina here actually offers a tremendous amount of boat services. They have boat storages. They're one of the main mechanics for the Volvo Penta engines that Cobalt's use. And you'll see they have a buoy field here so you can just pull into the marina and basically eat lunch and then pull out again. Another cool service that they offer is out and in service, meaning that you can pay them to actually put your boat out and in the water just with a phone call. In addition, you can rent boats here, jet skis, and they have a tremendous amount of you know, beachfront, so if you wanna just come down here and paddle. Right next to Sunnyside is where we're standing, which is William Kent State Park. And William Kent State Park is like this tiny little campground and this tiny little beach right next to Sunnyside, which is one of the coolest little hotspots that really no one knows about in this area. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you some more, and we're gonna to go to our next area, which is Hurricane Bay. I'd be remiss if I didn't stop at one of my favorite West Shore beaches, Hurricane Bay. This is like the perfect spot to pull over and go paddle boarding, to sit in the Sprinter van and look at the view of Lake Tahoe all day. And this bay is one of the calmest bays in all of Lake Tahoe, known for people coming in here all the time and wake surfing, wakeboarding. It's just a lovely spot. That point that you see right there is actually uh, Sunnyside Lane, and Sunnyside Lane is known for some of the most expensive real estate in all of Lake Tahoe. And the West Shore would be nothing without talking about the history of the boat racing that went on along these shores. Between here and the Homewood Marina, this is where people like Henry Kaiser, who was the father of modern day boats, and actually built the estate that The Godfather II was filmed at, was actually done right here along this shore. As we've walked, from the Kaiser Estate, now coming south, you end up in this sleepy little town known as Homewood. Homewood has an illustrious history, dating all the way back to the early 1900s, where the Tahoe Steamer would come into the Homewood Marina, which was built in 1910 with the hotel Homewood. Where we're standing right now is the Homewood Ski Resort. And the Homewood Ski Resort was originally designed in 1936 and it had a rope tow that took you up. And it was one of the first quote unquote ski resorts in Lake Tahoe, if not the first ski resort in Lake Tahoe. Some of my favorite shops and restaurants are here. The, my favorite restaurant on the West Shore is Swiss Lakewood, it is just fabulous. You have the West Shore Cafe, which you can pull your boat into across the street. And as we look over here, we have the High and Dry Marina, which offers everything from boat sales to rentals, boat services. It's one of the electric boat charging stations that you'll see in one of our other videos. And you can also get fuel here. This is where they used to race all of the classic boats. And up next, we have a very special treat. We're gonna breeze the concourse to elegance and we're gonna give you a tour what those boats actually look like. We are here at the concourse to elegance, one of my favorite shows in Lake Tahoe. You can see behind me 
all of the vintage Chris Crafts. We have some Rivas. We have some old race boats that we were talking about. And this is what Homewood is all about. This is what the West Shore is all about. It's the heritage. It's what fires people up about being here. And today is a very special day. So we invite you to come down and check this out. It happens every single year. The important thing to realize about the West Shore of Lake Tahoe and Tahoe in general, and you can see this in one of our other videos, we'll point to it up above, um, but all of these little places around the lake were places where the Tahoe steamer back in the early 1900s used to bring tourists who came up the railway from Truckee to these different places. There were really no roads going around the lake at that time. And one of the things that's really unique about this spot that we're at right here is this is Chambers Landing. And this is one of people's favorite places to come because it was the gateway basically to Rubicon and to Emerald Bay. Chambers today is known for its rum punches. And if you ever get a chance to get one, they are great. Just make sure you don't have more than one or two because it gets you a little loopy. Um, in addition, where we're standing right now, this is south of Homewood, and this is the gateway also to this awesome four-wheel drive trail known as the Rubicon Trail. It was originally founded by John McKinney, and you'll find it that the, the street going into the Rubicon Trail is actually named McKinney Rubicon because it's the gateway to, in a sense, driving a dirt road to Auburn. So if you like the four-wheel, if you like the boat, south of Homewood is kind of a mecca for all of it. You know, we decided to stop for a Chambers Punch and call today. We hope you have enjoyed this video of Tahoe City and down the West Shore. This is truly a magical spot. And if you think about the history of Lake Tahoe, this is these little points all the way around the lake that have created these little villages that we live in truly embody the true Tahoe spirit. I'd like to thank you for watching today. I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to our channel. And if you like what you saw today, please smash that like button. Our video next video is gonna be up on incline and kind of the East shore. So stay tuned for that one. And we have property videos coming your way every single week. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.